Welcome to the Workday Reporting for Business Users video series. In this session, we'll explore a few different report types in Workday. All reports in Workday are divided into three main categories, Standard, Custom, and Expresso. Standard reports are reports that Workday automatically delivers to your tenant. Custom reports are reports that administrators can customize to meet their business needs. For example, a report administrator might copy a standard report and customize it, or they may create a custom report from scratch. Expresso reports are reports that use underlying code in the system. They act more like tasks than reports, and you can't copy or edit them. Let's bring our focus to standard and custom reports. Every standard and custom report has a report type. There are many different report types in Workday, However, the most commonly used report types are advanced reports, matrix reports, and composite reports. Advanced reports provide a powerful way to combine and analyze a wide variety of related data in the system. It then displays all that information in one single report. These reports display as a traditional table with rows and columns. You can apply complex filtering and sorting to hone in on the information that's most meaningful to you. For example, say you need a comprehensive report that allows you to conduct a line item analysis and audit of all expense reports for your team. An advanced report could show detailed information, such as expense reports in a specific period, approval date, and expense report line information. Now, let's discuss matrix reports. Matrix reports display in a cross-tabular or pivot table format. With matrix reports, you can group and summarize data across multiple dimensions. For example, you can calculate the count, average, or sum. One of the greatest benefits of matrix reports is that you can drill into your summarized data to reveal more detailed information. You can also explore your report at different levels of granularity, thus giving you even more context. Take our expense report example. Rather than a detailed line item report, let's say you need a report that summarizes total expenses by cost center. You could use a matrix report for this. You could quickly compare expenses across cost centers and highlight the areas where expenses may be unusually high or low. If a value is hyperlinked, you can select it to drill into the value and gain more insight. For example, I can drill into a summarized value to view the individual expense report lines. Now, let's say you have reports that you analyze regularly, each giving you a piece of the puzzle. A composite report lets you combine data from multiple sources into a single report, providing a more comprehensive report output. This can show you how the data points relate to each other, thus making it easier to spot trends or issues. Composite reports can also contain formatting, such as headers, footers, hierarchies, outlining, and styling. Let's say you have three reports, one for actuals, one for budget, and one for headcount. You could combine these reports into a single composite report. With the composite report, you could gain insights to your company's financials from multiple perspectives, actual income and expenses, budgeted income and expenses, and net income per headcount. This gives you a more comprehensive view of your data. Workday also has a few other report types. Although they're not as commonly used, you may find them useful for your business needs. Transposed reports allow you to swap rows for columns, giving you a side-by-side -side comparison of data. Search reports are ideal if you need to find something within a high volume area of data. You can use facet filters to narrow down the results. Nbox reports allow you to visualize groups of data by mapping groupings across two-dimensional vertical and horizontal axes. Trending reports are like matrix reports, except that you can group data by time periods to view trends, such as comparing this year's values to last year's values. Finally, there are simple reports, which are basic reports that display primary data and have limited design options. In this session, we've reviewed the many report types that Workday offers to meet your specific needs. 
depending on the dimensions, granularity, and purpose of your report. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.